on? Welcome back to the CW Clinic. My name is Chris. I'm your host. Thanks for joining me today. Episode 86. We made a couple of mistakes on verbally which episode we're on over the past couple of weeks. But no fear, we have it straightened out at this point. And we're on episode 86. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. I'm going to give you a short little banger today. It's a topic that I commonly run into when it comes to working with my students and clients in warrior consulting, my business coaching and mentoring business. And um, the topic that we're going to talk about today is work-life balance. And work-life balance is something that I think is looked at differently by pretty much everyone. And it's also a politically correct term, in my opinion, for the balance between work and life. Is there a gray area? Is there overlap? Are they one and the same? I think these are all valid questions. And I usually have conversations with high performers, high earners, and people of the nature that almost slip into the pattern of only work and kind of uh, slip away from their personal life because they're high performers and they're high earners. And I'm not justifying what they've done to slip away from their personal life. It's just the common patterns that I see. And recently I've been talking a good deal about this topic to people in group settings and one-on-one. -on -one. And I think it's open for discussion when it comes to work-life balance and there's no clear cut answer other than what is best for you. The work-life balance that is best for you is the work-life balance that works, okay? I know a lot of people that will go real hard in work and sacrifice their personal life, personal events, personal parties, gatherings, all sorts of things to accomplish what they see as their business goals. And I understand that and I respect that mentality. However, that same individual commonly is very stressed out, unhappy, potentially overweight, and or miserable. And there's a connection between being unhappy and having that level of dedication to your work. And what you have there is a job without fulfillment. If they're stressed, if they're unhappy, but they're always working, they're not really living purposefully. They're just trying to accomplish something, and, and I respect that. However, they're not fulfilled. And there's many different ways to fulfill yourself. But in the context of work-life balance, if you don't wake up every morning and jump out of bed with excitement that you get to work and carry that excitement throughout your entire day, week, month, year, years, decades, all right, there's something missing. And that's purpose and fulfillment. And that is the prime candidate for someone who needs to draw back on the work and move forward on the personal stuff. Using it myself as an example, there are several hobbies that I have that I dedicate myself to give myself leisure time or lifetime in the work-life balance. Some things that I love are cars. I love to drive. I love to shop for cars. I love to buy new cars. I love to modify cars. I like to talk cars. I like to exercise. I'm very healthy. I'm very athletic. I like to snowboard. I do it actively every winter few times a month, maybe once a week, twice a week, depending on the situation. 
I like to shoot pool. I shoot pool a few times a month. I like to shoot guns. I shoot guns a couple times a month. I like to eat. I like to eat fine dining, high-end dining. I like to socialize. And those are just a couple of examples of the leisure time that I use to fulfill my life and help with executing my purpose of teaching. Now, what's key is, isn't to focus on what I'm saying, but to apply it to you. And if you find yourself unfulfilled and you're stressed out and you're dreading work, there's a chance that your work-life balance might need some attention. And the best thing that you could do before you quit your job and are jobless and blame your boss is take care of yourself a little bit. Spend time, whatever it is, whatever you like to do. Maybe you like to shave cucumbers or fucking empty a beehive or paint ra rainbows or count Care Bears or whatever. You like to play house with dolls. It doesn't matter. Would I make fun of you for liking to shave cucumbers? Yeah, probably, but in good fun. But the point is, if it brings you happiness and you enjoy doing it, if you love to exercise, but you keep saying that work is in the way, you have to reor reorganize and reprioritize time for yourself. It doesn't matter what it is that you enjoy. This isn't a matter of what's cool and what's not because what's cool to you and what's cool to me are two different things, but I have enough empathy to be like, you know what? You like to fucking shave cucumbers and play with Care Bears? Cool. That's what fulfills you. Awesome. It doesn't matter what it is, but find those things that you enjoy to do in life. Maybe it's sit around with your family. Maybe it's go for a walk with your dog. Could be simple things. Doesn't have to cost you money. Doesn't have to be hobbies. It just has to be what you enjoy. You need to do more of that after you identify it. And once you start doing that daily or weekly, depending on the situation or monthly, you'll notice that your not only your life is going to get better, but your job is going to get better, and the work-life balance will become. And it's all a matter of what you want to make of it. I encourage you to take the time to understand what it is that you like to do if you don't know. And then once you know, or if you do know, schedule it in. Make time for it. Prioritize it. Get the work-life balance that's best for you. Some of us need work-life balance on a daily basis. Other of us need it once a week. Some of us need it once every couple of months. Some of us are so fucking happy that we get out of bed in the morning that we know our purpose, that we get to execute it every single day that we wake up and we are fulfilled. But at the same time, and if you are that person, if you're that fulfilled, you know yourself when, aware, you know yourself enough and are aware enough to step off the gas pedal when needed and step back on it when needed. So that's all I got for you this week, guys. Understand work-life balance. Realize what lights you up. Figure that out. Schedule it in. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. And be you. Be authentic. Whether it's shaving cucumbers or playing house with some dolls. Be you. Speak even if your voice shakes. Be powerful. Be a good human. Dream it all. Write it down. Apply it. Chase it. Let's win together. I'll catch you next week. All right, guys, listen. If you liked that video, all right, I've got plenty more. The key is I need you to subscribe and I need you to turn on notifications. If you do subscribe, thank you. I appreciate you. Let's fucking win together.